Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is marks in Tableau. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed the channel, please hit the subscribe button and press on bell icon for interesting and upcoming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is marks? So marks are used to add interesting element to make your worksheet or dashboard more interactive and insightful. You can drag many fields or many property in the marks. You can add context or details in the marks card to make it meaningful. Okay. Types of marks in Tableau. So there are different type of marks available in Tableau. That is color, size, text, tooltip, shape and angle. Let's see how we can use all of these in Tableau. When you open Tableau desktop or public, you can see there is a mark shelf available in Tableau and here you can see color, size, text, detail and tooltip. To use shape, just click on shape and to use angle, just click on pie because angle is only used for pie chart. Okay, let's discuss one by one. Let's first discuss color and change the sheet name. Let's drag category and sales and rotate the so as you can see by default color is assigned to each bar that is blue color okay so you can adjust the color okay you can select the color whatever you want okay and you can adjust the opacity of the color also okay and you can add the border as well let's add border so you can see border as it is suppose you want to assign a different color to each bar like different color for furniture different color for office supplies and different color for technology okay so for this just drag category into color sorry as you can see a different color is assigned to each category you can adjust the color just click on it and I'm using orange for it and gray for office supply and for technology I'm using purple and select and for technology I'm using purple okay so this is how you can assign the color to each value or there are various color options available in Tableau, Tableau 10, Tableau 20, color blind and orange, blue or something or, or you can add your custom color also. We will discuss in the upcoming videos how to add custom color in Tableau. Okay. Or you can reset these colors. Just click on reset and click on OK. Okay. So, so this is how we can assign color to each category. Okay. Let's discuss size now. Drag category and sales and rotate the bars. Okay. So size is used to decrease or increase the size of bar. Okay. So this is how you can increase and decrease, decrease the size of bars by using size. Third one is text. Let's drag category and sales and rotate the bar. Okay. So suppose you want to see the total number of sales for each each category on the top of that bar. So just go to label and click on show mark label and you can see this is available now on the top of bar or you can also just uh, drag the sales also here and you can see the sales is available for each category on the top of bar so there are two ways to add this first one is just drag the field to the label and second one is just click on 
label or you can add it to the text suppose one two three sales right just click on sales or you can change it it's alt and make it to 12 make it bold and just click on it change its color and make it to bigger size and just click on ok so you can see the labels are changed now right so you can and there is the important one is alignment okay suppose you want to change the alignment of of this text so you can go to here and adjust these values right as, as you can see when i click on any values the values are changing so when i click on uh, vertical down so it comes in, into the bar and it comes into the so when i change it so it comes into the middle of bar okay and go to this it goes to back okay so this is how you can adjust the text on the top of bar okay and third one is detail details and tool tips you can say are interrelated to each other let's discuss both together so i'm adding category and sales right and rotate the bars let's see the tool tip just click on tool tip and you can see so we have the tool tip with category and sales okay suppose i want to add profit as well but i don't want to add profit in our rows or columns okay i just want to see sales and profit for category so let's drag the profit into details and go to tip and you can see it is automatically added here okay so this is how you can use detail and tooltip as you as you can see for furniture we have 19k profit and 754k sales okay let's customize our tooltip so you can increase and decrease the size okay make it bold italic underline change its color okay make it to middle right left or you can change the font as well okay you can customize the tooltip as well okay let's customize tooltip okay so i am checking let's insert so we have used category so category as profit how much profit just add profit and sales this okay just make it to little bit more with size to highlight these values and just click on ok so when you click on you can see the technology has profit this one and sales this one so it looks more better and more interactive and more readable to understand for the user so this is how you can customize your uh, tooltip and details to make it more interactive okay so the next one is shape to use shape go to automatic and click on shape okay 
drag category and drag sales into shape and you can say a default shape is assigned to each furniture okay you can edit the shape there are various options available to edit the shape you can assign field shape let's assign field shape okay and click on ok make it to full view and if you want to assign different color to each shape just drag category into color and you can see different color is assigned to each shape and you can select there are default failed arrows right bug tracking gender KPIs proportions ratings in arrows and weather so these type of shapes available in tableau and also you can add custom shapes as well don't worry we will discuss how to add custom shapes in tableau okay or as of now just click on ok let's discuss one scenario and create a calculated field i know i have not discussed how to use calculated field so i'm using as of now just for example so if if sales is greater than zero then up else down and end okay shape click on okay remove sales from this and drag shape okay go to kpis click on it and click on ok so as you can see we only have sales is greater than zero so that's why there is only up shape for furniture office supply and category so so now you understand what is the use of shape and how you can use shapes in your dashboard thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos